I have bad news the SEC has yet another setback in its ongoing court case with Ripple. Recent readings of the law have tipped the scales in favor of Ripple, which will help it in court. As the case moves forward, Ripple becomes a strong opponent of the SEC's regulation scrutiny. Stay tuned for more news about this important court case. Don't forget to like, share, and follow. Let's begin. This is where we start with just in. People who use XRP have heard reports that the judge will side with Ripple XRP. Breaking news, the ongoing case between Ripple and the SEC might go in Ripple's favor because of new legal interpretations. This is where I think XRP will start to do better than all the other cryptocurrencies, even Bitcoin, but that's just my view. The next thing is that all of them will use XRP in some way. Over 1,000 NDAs have been signed and XRP ledgers will be used all over the world. There are a lot of well-known banks here, like Ng and Barclays, the Bank of Thailand, Standard Chartered, Al Raji Bank, Bank of America, Bank of England, Samsung, and more. I don't know what else I know, maybe Scotia Bank, MoneyGram, Western Union, and the Saudi Arabian Monetary Authority. Next, it's interesting to see the talk about how XRP might be able to replace Japan's need for us dollars. The crypto world is always changing, and it's there to look into how digital assets like XRP can be used in global financial systems. Thanks for sharing the article. Let's see how this story grows. A fast track for the SACVS, XRP case could help Ripple. Recent changes to the law mean that the ongoing case between Ripple and SAC might end in Ripple's favor. They say that a judge has already thrown out similar arguments and sided with Ripple, and that the sentence for a Ripple is much less than what the SAC asked for in the beginning. After both sides asked for the meeting to be sped up, the case was moved up. The trial between Ripple and the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission has already begun. Many people in the industry were hoping that this would be the end of the long court battle, but instead of ending the dispute, it keeps leading to more conflict. The ongoing case between Ripple and SAC could actually go in Ripple's favor because of how the company has recently interpreted the law and changed its strategy. In fact, since both sides want the case to move along quickly, a solution may come up sooner than thought. SAC says no to Ripple's request to hear from an expert witness. The government recently put in its objection to Ripple's request to strike new expert materials. The project is based on evidence from witness Andrea Fox. Uh, this statement is called the Fox Pledge. Ripple has said it in the past that the declaration is an expert view that wasn't asked for. The SAC answered Ripple's concerns by saying that the statement was normal summary evidence to back up the calculations for disgorgement. The SAC said that they said this kind of evidence is common and proper for figuring out how much money people should get in court cases. It's not a report from an expert and doesn't draw on their knowledge. It doesn't give any opinions, let alone expert ones, and it doesn't show the evidence of a witness who was there. Instead, it uses simple math on Ripple's financial records to make it easier to show the proof to the judge. The court should not grant Ripple's motion. Sachs says again that the evidence in the Ripple case is not reliable. The government body also said that the Fox Declaration had information from tax returns and financial statements that Ripple had made themselves. The SAC stressed that this information was very important for figuring out the right financial consequences for the case. This showed that the declaration was relevant and useful in shaping the result of the trial. The SAC also said that the federal judge had previously thrown out similar objections made by Ripple and could be siding with the company. This was done to emphasize the SAC's point that the issues Ripple is still arguing about have already been looked at and decided upon by the court. Based on the fee. Like judge stories did at summary judgment, this time the court should not let Ripple's challenge to the Fox Declaration stand. The lawyer is expecting a deal in the summer. The most recent update in the Ripple vs. SAC case came from a defense lawyer and former federal prosecutor named James K. Fillon. In the comments section below his post, many users said that the regulator's recent actions were an attempt to delay the case's conclusion. On the other hand, American lawyer Jeremiah Hogan is hopeful that the case will be settled quickly and believes that the lawsuit will end this summer. He has been speculating about a possible $100 million settlement, which is much less than the $2 billion that the SAC originally wanted from Ripple, but 10 times more than what Ripple offered. Hogan stated, I'm saying that a judge will order no disgorgement, but will give the SAC a break and order Ripple to pay a $100 million fine and aggressive defense plan and the effects on crypto could work in Ripple's favor in this important case. The current lawsuit between Ripple and SAC might go in Ripple's favor, especially since the law has been interpreted and acted upon very recently. As long as Ripple has known it, XRP does not meet the Howey rule for being a security, mainly because there is no investment opportunity. The SAC, on the other hand, has said that XRP meets the business and money test. An interesting side note is that Ripple has chosen to fight the SAC charges in a public and aggressive way instead of settling quietly, which is more usual in this kind of situation. 
Ripple has hired well-known lawyers, including former SAC employees, to help its case because it believes that XRP's currency was a service which is different from most securities. Ripple's strategy could also be a merger. Because of the bigger picture of the case for the cryptocurrency industry, a possible ruling in Ripple's favor could set a big example for how other cryptocurrencies are treated by U.S. Courts. Laws about stocks. This could lead to clearer rules about how crypto assets can be used. Following these points, some legal experts believe that the decision might actually lean in favor of Ripple. This could change how cryptocurrencies are regulated in the United States. But because the SAC is known for taking strict enforcement actions, the result is still unclear and highly anticipated. The pundit also says that Japan doesn't need the US dollar anymore and that XRP can do that. Jack Straw, a bad guy in the crypto world, said that XRP could replace Japan's need for US dollars. Straw said this about XM, which is Ripple's latest partnership with Hashkey DAX to bring XRP ledger-based solutions to the Japanese market, as Crypto Basic recently reported. Ripple and the Japanese banking giant SBI Group are working together on this project. First, the XRP Ledger blockchain will power supply chain solutions for the finance business as part of this group effort. Japan's XRP Ledger is getting stronger. In particular, blockchain's raw supply chain finance has become more popular over the years as businesses try to fix security problems. As of recently, a study predicted that blockchain would have a much bigger effect on the market, going from $360 million to $13.4 billion by 2030. Ripple plans to get into this market by using Hashkey DAX's supply chain finance product, which works with about 23 banks and 4,300 suppliers. It has also traded more than $7 billion worth of goods since 2019. That's about all the XRP news we got today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and see you next time.